hello friends welcome back to the channel so in this video I'm going to show you how to create OAuth 2.0 authentication and how to generate the access token before calling API in Karate framework so like sometimes we have to get uh, we have to create access token for the OAuth 2.0 before calling any API so let's uh, uh, let me show you in the postman so this is my postman so in this like this is a type authentication type authorization and it's a OAuth 2.0 authentication so when you select it you can see this type of uh, text boxes so in this like this is a current token this is the information shown in the in the postman so this is access token this is generated access token we don't have to uh, write anything it will automatically be generated okay so now this is the configuration new token so in this we have to give the token name grant type grant type has multiple types like uh, authorization code password credentials and uh, implicit client credentials so I'm using client credential here client credential means we have to give client ID and the client secret so this is the access token URL it's a mandatory you have to give the access token URL over here and this is a client ID it's a secret client ID and this client secret so it's a very uh, uh, secret information so you don't sometimes you don't have to show this one and this is a scope so a scope you have to give and the client authentication means authentication type we have to select send as basic send as basic author so via postman we can create a config access token by using this button we just need to click on here excuse me so here you just need to click on get new access token button when you click it it is showing that the authentication completed you just need to click on process now the access token has been generated now you have to click the use token this access token is automatically updated so here now you have to click sync token I have clicked on click on sync token now token has been synced so now we can call this API so just click on send button it is status okay let me show you the response so this is the response means it is okay status 200 okay so like without authentication we cannot uh, call this API so it's a 2.0 auth uh, OAuth authentication type so let me show you in the Eclipse so let's start with new one this is a karate demo and there's a feature file so in the feature file I have to create a new feature file a file need to select and I'm giving a name just like access token dot feature okay now it's a very simple not uh, any complexity so we can set the feature name we have we don't need to give tag and we just need a scenario here I am going to create a background information by using background keyword okay now in the background we have to give first URL URL you can set the URL in the configuration file also but here I'm not going to set in the configuration file because configuration file has other URL 
let me show you in the postman so this is my access token url so we have to copy this one With the single code okay now here have to configure uh, like a strict and now what else need to do you can see in the postman so this is a token name token name is optional we don't have to give like uh, grant type so we have to give grant type form so this is a form and grant type is a field so just type field grant and have to give under grant underscore type equal to now what is our grant type it's a client credentials so like grant type we have to give the client credentials the same way just client underscore credentials okay now what what next what is uh, the next is client ID and the client secret okay so the same way just copy and paste here what I need to do client underscore ID so here need to do client ID Client ID I'm giving uh, as a variable, so I'm just creating a parameter, setting a parameter for client ID. So karate dot properties and it's a client ID. Same way client ID now the client secret as you can see in the postman this is a client secret client secret okay now again I need to set the karate dot property because both information are from client side so we don't need to show this uh, information to anyone okay now what is next it's a scope a scope you have to give so the, we just copy this thing form field what is the field scope okay scope what is the scope it's one nine eight seven one nine eight seven okay now first calling this we have to set some configuration files like uh, um, configuration SSL so if the SSL is true it will not uh, give any error so we have to set configure SSL equal to true okay so now I'm giving a title generate access token okay now given given is a path or we can uh, split the path path st token and now just we can pass the header accept equal to application JSON type and so means the output should be in the JSON form and now when when now all this information are set so now what we need to do we just need to click on the get new access token it means we have to call the post method so we just call when post call the post method when method post okay now here just then I'm 
check the status should be 200 and we can print the response print response okay uh, so it is done now let's check it is working or not Let's to configure. We have to set some configuration. So it is a cut a demo KT. Here we need to give the path. Now run. So it is not uh, calling this file by let's see. Access token in NCON launch experience access token reference non existing project experience API. We have to update some configuration. Let's grab the demo KT. 